to be threatened when our goal is really to do what's best for the children uh, is extraordinarily upsetting. Tonight, police are investigating what's being described as a threat sent to the superintendent of the Baldwin Whitehall School District. The superintendent was targeted over the district's mask policy. Much of the threat is too profane to air. Jennifer Barreso is live in Baldwin with what we've learned about the district's response. Jennifer. Well, Ken, the school board president read us that anonymous email, and it, like you said, it was too profane to read all of it. It was brief, but he also says the most disturbing part was the end, what they said. I was absolutely angry when I read it. Uh, I was also, you know, hurt and upset. We certainly took that as a threat to him. Peter Giglione, the Baldwin Whitehall School Board President, read KDKA what he calls a threatening anonymous email sent to Superintendent Dr. Randall Lutz after he told parents Sunday face masks are still required, even after the state Supreme Court tossed out the mask mandate. It's profane. I can't read it all uh, on, on the air or on television. Um, but uh, the one part that's concerning um, where there's not foul language is uh, you are done. You will not be our superintendent uh, much longer. The superintendent notified the school board and parents about threats to him personally and professionally. This yes. mom is baffled. It's just shocking to me that somebody would threaten somebody over something so simple. So something that's in place just to protect people from getting sick. Now lawyers and police are involved. The Baldwin Borough Police Chief tells me they are following leads as they develop. The superintendent didn't want to talk on camera, but told parents in an email, my motivation is to keep our schools open and maintain the health of our students and staff. Nothing more, nothing less. Giglione tells me he and other board members have gotten emails telling them to quit, fire the superintendent. They are harming the kids still. He says it's about safety. We were going to continue the mandatory mask policy. Uh, the reason being is we have a pretty high transmission rate of the coronavirus in our district. Uh, as I mentioned, our goal is to keep the kids in the buildings. And Giglione tells me that the district will send out surveys about face masks to parents and to teachers. They plan to revisit the policy next month. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News. All right, Jen, thanks.